Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain My name is Mari Smith and I live in Seattle. I recently got married and I just love filming my daily life. So welcome. But um, anyways, I just hopped out of the shower. I made myself a cup of coffee this morning. Um, and so far a productive morning. I am so, so excited today, guys, because I'm gonna go get my nails done. It's the same place I ranted about like a couple weeks ago or last week that I was supposed to go. Um, but I'm just excited because I know she's a really good nail tech. So yeah, I have a couple ideas. I'm gonna see if I can try to like put the pictures on here for you guys, but I'm between two different designs um, and they're both really fun and colorful. So I'm super excited. I've been growing out my nails. So they're pretty long right now and planning on doing a little almond shape. But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys along for that. That's in about three hours, so I'm just gonna get cracking down on work and get as much done as possible. Um, but yeah, welcome to another weekly vlog. <laughs> cardamom oat latte. I love it so stinking much. Mm. So good. I'm a sucker for like cardamom lattes. Anyways, I didn't have lunch so I decided to grab a pastry and I got their roasted pear like hand pie which sounded delicious. I love pear but it didn't say it had goat cheese so I like tried it and um yeah I just it tasted literally like goat cheese. I did not like it at all. And it didn't say that, so I asked the lady, like, I thought maybe they handed me, like, the wrong pastry. Anyways, I asked her, like, oh, does the pear one, is it supposed to have cheese in it? And she's like, oh, yeah, sorry, like, it doesn't say. Anyways, she gave me a chocolate chip cookie, but she gave me two, guys. Like, she was so kind. They're always just so sweet at Mr. West. Anyways, headed to my nails. 
I'm so, so excited. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see your eyes. Got me literally wearing the same jean jacket shirt again. So, yeah. And I realized that I did not show you guys my nails. Uh, guys, they are so cute. I'm literally obsessed. Like, the whole day I've just been, like, looking at them. The experience was amazing. The nail tech was so, so kind. Um, I'll definitely be going to her every month, but look at these. They're so fun. I feel like when you add color to your life, it just makes it more fun. And I know people say like sticking with neutrals is like calming or whatever, but I also find calm, calmness and color I realized recently and like happiness. So I've just been trying to incorporate more color into my life and I'm not mad about it. I always used to be like a neutral girly and I will at my core still be that. I still will, you know, purchase a lot of neutral things, but I do love a pop, pop of color here and there. Like it's definitely something I am starting to love. So these are just so much fun. But anyways, I am wearing my like getting ready like headband. Um, Oh boy, this bus is going so fast behind me. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm wearing this headband because I am filming a partnership reel for Lunata is the brand. They do um, cordless straighteners, which I thought was so stinking cool. Um, I've never had a, uh, like a cordless straightener, so I really, really wanted to try it out. And so they sent it to me and I've just been kind of filming a reel. So as soon as Jordan gets in the car, I'm gonna film a reel of me doing my hair in the car because I think that would be fun. But I was either gonna do that or like do one of me like watching a show and like doing my hair or like just moving around the house, like carefree, you know? But yeah, anyway, so that's just what I'm doing. Today, I need to have it submitted by the end of the day. I literally waited last minute for those partnership, but they also sent me the products a little late, so. Yeah, it's just been like a bunch of different things. But anyways, it's Friday and we literally have no plans. There is a new Mexican restaurant in Bellevue that opened up. It's called Cantina Monarca and I really want to try it. It looks so cute, guys. It looks like you're in like Tulum or something. Like the inside of it is just so darling. And I just, yeah, I think it'd be like a good Friday like vibe. But also, I want to go back to Homer because we had the best hummus there. Um, and I really want, I'm like craving hummus or either Mexican food or we might just end up, you know, making something at home. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But anyways, that's what I've been up to today. I've literally just been working, shooting things for brands. And I straightened my hair for this partnership for Lunata, which took me a second. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. Thank goodness. Cause I was over this week, guys. I was so over it. But anyways, it's beautiful in Seattle. It's just so funny because it's like dumping snow in Portland apparently. And I was a little annoyed about it because I just miss like the snow days and just having so much snow. Last year when I was in Portland, we had tons of snow for like a week. And I honestly, I just love those days. I feel like we just get so cozy. We would go pick up pan dulce. My mom would make chocolate abuelita and you know just dip our conchita in our hot cocoa and just such a vibe go on little snow walks which i think is just so lovely um but anyways it's sunny in seattle at least it's not raining so i'm not mad about it but everybody in portland seems to be stuck at home but also just for selfish purposes i would love for jordan to just stay home but anyways it's Friday and it's sunny in Seattle, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Okay guys, I just finished filming my Lunata reel. And look at my hair, it looks so bomb. I did it all while Jordan was driving. How good do I look, Cookie? Amazing. Amazing. 11 out of 10. You said it. 11 out of 10. You hear that? Yeah, Lunata. This is good. My only 
critique is that it's pretty heavy, but I mean, that makes sense since it's cordless. It probably needs like some power thing built in it. I'm not an engineer, so I wouldn't know. But um, yeah, looking good. I am gonna be, yeah, use, utilizing this because I'm always making Jordan and I late. Well, not always. I feel like I'm pretty good, but sometimes, you know, sometimes I just wanna take my time. So I'll just bring this in the car and like do my hair. But yeah, I'm obsessed. Good morning, guys. I just finished straightening my hair, um, but I am gonna take my Lunata straightener in the car so I can curl my hair a little. But we are headed to go on a cute little walk for the weekend and get some coffee. No plans for today, just vibes. Um, because I am having a little Galentine's at my place with my friend Lynn. She's on her way right now. But we are going to paint some cute candles that I picked up. And I bought a couple canvases. I prepped a little some treats. We're having rosé and Olipop strawberry vanilla to go with the pink theme for Galentine's Day. But anyways, it should be super fun. I'm super excited um, to spend time with just the girls. And yeah i'll show you guys what the table looks like guys because it's actually really stinking adorable and i loved how it turned out so let me show you i'm really happy with how it came out and look at how pretty these tulips are the strawberry vanilla olipop and then some suzor rose which is just perfect for a little galentine's day and then these little candles i got a light yellow and then a white and then my dine with fable coupe glass is just so perfect for this Something to say to everybody who pay away whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I be more. Picking the plate, being the plate. She is on a rule. Never seen her like this. Didn't think Good morning, guys. I am headed to Sugaring NYC to get my brows laminated and tinted and my eyelashes tinted i'm doing a little collab with them which i'm super excited about um so i will bring you guys along for that and then after that i'm meeting my friend danny we're gonna shoot some content it is raining so i hope we can find maybe some like indoor spaces that we can shoot in um but yeah we're just shooting some ugc content as well as some branded content that we both have so yeah starting off the morning on a good note it is 10 8 or 9 9 a.m right now and yeah just gonna crack out some work i have a big to-do list today i also have to hit up um the postal office to drop off some poshmark sales i made this weekend so just a busy busy day but i'll bring you guys along for all of it okay i just arrived but i wanted to show you guys my brows and my lashes before Hopefully this turns out well, guys. I'm always scared for these types of appointments, but my face is in the hands of these technicians, so. Can you feel it, honey? Can you feel it, honey? Now you're way past that. All that bad, 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 bad. So bad, 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 bad. Can you see it, honey? Can you see it? Guys. It's a no. Ugh. I knew I should have walked out the second I walked in there. The technician did not know what she was doing, guys. Like, look. This one is so much darker than this one. Like, it looks like I got busted or something. Um just so uneven like what like this one doesn't look that bad and then what is this 
she was like, oh, have you gotten your eyebrows laminated before? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, do you know how long it lasts? You're supposed to tell me how long it lasts. Why am I telling you how long my lashes, my eyebrows have lasted? Then she tinted my lashes and burned my eyes, like burned them so bad. And then my lashes came out looking just like they did when I went in. So yeah, there's no chance I'm going back to this place and I will not be promoting it whatsoever. Um, but anyways, now I am getting ready in the car because I'm walking over to a coffee shop in South Lake Union to meet my friend Danny. But anyways, I am like devastated because of my brows. You girlies know, like, luckily I didn't pay for this service, but if I would have paid, I'd be crying right now. Um, and I want to cry just because like obviously it's on my stinking face But it is what it is. I guess I'll have to deal with it Yeah Ugh, Never going there again. Do not recommend sugaring NYC um, Yeah Don't get me wrong. The girl was like really really nice, but I could tell she did not know what what she was doing um and I knew the second I got there and she started talking to me, I should have left. But you know, it's always just kind of hard to get up and leave like that in situations like that. Um, I didn't want her to feel bad. How are you, how was I gonna tell her like, oh yeah, I don't feel comfortable with you doing my brows. Like it doesn't seem like you know what you're doing. Yeah, there's just like a lot of red flags in that appointment. And like, yeah, just not, never going back. Do not recommend to anybody um, in the Seattle area to go to this location, you know, Every technician is different, so maybe they have some good text there, but I did not get a good one, unfortunately. So, yeah. <sighs> Devastating. Jordan just went upstairs to take Layla to go potty, and we are watching The Bachelor, guys. Um, it has been the boringest season of The Bachelor yet. I really... I'm just like not liking the season. You can tell the girls like really don't care for The Bachelor. And yeah, I'm just here. It's more of like a nostalgic show for me. That's why I'm watching it. But anyways, I wanted to update you guys on my brows. I literally like scrubbed them so hard and they look so, so much better. Um, but I still don't think I would ever go back. But yeah, they look so much better than what I thought they would end up looking. But anyways, it's been a super, super chill evening. We had dinner and then we went on a little walk and now we're just relaxing, watching some TV. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I am ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I'm glad I actually got to record bits of every day. That was like my goal for this week. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It was a very productive week and a very fun week. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just got done with a little workout and it's Wednesday. So I'm just going to get cleaning and working. My mom's coming over today. So just trying to clean the apartment before she gets here. So Thanks for watching, like and subscribe guys.